Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to redo the trailer bunks on your boat trailer. All right, so let's go through the items you're gonna need in order to start this project. You wanna order some new marine grade carpet. You can get that on Amazon real quickly within two days. Otherwise, you can get marine carpet at Home Depot, but here in California, that's not allowed uh, or they're restricted on the shipping, so that may not work if you're California-based. And then there's many other websites online. I'll leave links in the description below. Uh, next, you're gonna need some new wood if you're gonna redo the wood portion of the bunks. I got that at Home Depot. I got two by sixes for the main pieces of wood and pressurized redwood works well, and two by fours for the next section up on the trailer. Um, those were $33 for all four of those pieces. You can also use some type of synthetic wood, like a Trex, if you're worried about it cracking sooner than later, or you just don't wanna deal with that, but it will increase some cost and some weight on the trailer. This trailer uh, is about 19 years old, I think I've done this project two or three times. Um, it sits out in the sun for about three months each summer, so the sun beating down on the carpet definitely makes it fail sooner than um, if you didn't have that outside. But going forward, um, I know how to do it. It's not that hard of a process. It's just more of a manual labor type thing. Okay, as far as tools, you'll want to have a socket set wrench, um, a whole kit, sorry. Um, you'll want to have something to cut the wood, a rotary saw. You'll also need an uh, electric drill, including drill bits and drill bits to countersink the holes. You'll want an exacto knife to cut off the old carpet and cut the new carpet, or scissors will work as well. And then you want a good stapler and you want stainless steel staples so that they don't rust sooner. And you need a tape measure. Uh, Sharpie will be very helpful. And not required, but very helpful is an impact wrench to tighten down the bolts at the end so you don't have to work so hard. So step one is obvious, but you gotta get the boat off the trailer, right? So. You may want to plan this project while your boat is in the lake with the family and you have an hour or two to work on this. Or if you can just go ahead and launch your boat, tie it up, and then go work on this in the parking lot. But um, the boat's got to be out of the way. And the next step is just start disassembling everything. So I'm using a razor blade here, brand new one, to cut through the old marine carpet. It's kind of... Uh, nasty so you might want to use a mask here and you'll see a, a pretty good crack in that wood so that's from the wood getting wet and drying out and then the weight of the boat pressing and that's one of the reasons I wanted to replace the wood this time around and not just the carpet So here's a look at the impact driver I like to use with an adapter for sockets. But you'll see here my socket's really short. So when I head over to the trailer thinking I'm gonna get the bolts off real quick, it doesn't work because the, the screw is hanging out much further beyond the, um, the nut. So you'll need a longer socket than I have here or you'll have to get it started by hand and backed off and then use the impact wrench to get you the rest of the way. So on my trailer, sometimes the, um, the head of the bolt will just start spinning into the wood and you'll be fighting yourself. So what helps is to get a hammer and pry up the board as you're trying to unbolt them. That'll put enough pressure to um, allow you to get the nut off the bolt. Some trailers are just gonna have big screws that go deep into the wood and won't have this setup, so it may be easier. And before you get all the trailer bunks off, measure the length in wood. And then I would err on the side of being a little bit longer on your new piece of wood so that you have room to wrap the carpet around the end before the metal mount, otherwise you'll run into the mount and not have room.
So here's a look at our new piece of wood against that old worn out piece of wood. And we'll carry that over to the trailer and we'll just lay it down and center your metal brackets. It might take some finagling. Make sure you have enough overlap at the end of that board for the carpet to wrap around it. And then once you get it right where you think it needs to be, take a Sharpie marker and then just trace the hole with the Sharpie marker so we can come back with a drill bit and drill out your hole. It also is a good idea to mark um, front and rear or left and right on top of the board so that as you drill this out, you don't forget which side is the top piece or which side should be up. Now next, what you don't see in this shot is I flipped all the boards upside down so I can see the black Sharpie marker. And then get yourself um, some good drill bits. I have some on Amazon in the links below that I like to use. They're really cheap, not worth finding a, a dull drill bit. So get some good ones. And then just drill your basic holes through the, um, the trace of the black Sharpie marker on all of your boards. Now we'll just flip the boards back into place, put the bottom where they uh, were supposed to be, and take your bolts from the top. And in this case, mine were a little too tight, so I needed to go up on the next uh, size drill bit, but it's always better to start on the conservative smaller side. So now all the bolts are drilled out to a good size, and the next thing we're gonna do is countersink the hole on the top. So I'm gonna use a bit here to just countersink the first inch or so and I'll leave a link in the description for some drill bits that work for this and we want to do this so we countersink the metal head underneath the wood so as the boat drives up there's just no chance of it ever running into a metal bolt even underneath the carpet. Okay, everything's drilled out, so I wanna give a quick sand on the edges, especially where you sawed it, because they're sharp and it'll cut through the carpet sooner as it rubs uh, when the boat's on it. So give it a quick sand, and then here we'll punch in our bolts one by one, line them all up, make sure everything is fitting, and then we'll come back with a screwdriver and hammer and hammer them all the way flat to make sure they're seating all the way in that countersunk area of the wood. And then I went and found a longer um, socket for the impact wrench because I knew I'm going to need that extra power to get these bolts back in place. So the bolt head is already on here. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver to create some tension against the bolt and wood to hold that top head in place. And then we'll just ratchet it down until it's tight. And then now I'm going to use a clamp and clamp the marine carpet onto the wood, leave a little extra on the, on the back end of that. And a lot of these carpet are, have a top and bottom, so make sure you have the top up. And we'll just roll it out, cut them off, and then we're gonna staple them back onto the wood. So here as I'm trying to fit it on there, it, I cut it a little too long, but that's fine. We'll just trim it up with some scissors. And then once you get that first staple or two into the wood, life gets a lot easier as it starts holding the carpet in place. You're going to have a lot of excess carpet in those corner areas, so you'll have to trim it down. Just don't over trim, it's always better to under trim and you can always get rid of the extra, but if you cut it too short, you're gonna have problems.
Okay, so there you go. The only thing left is to put a bunch of staples underneath the wood, make sure nothing's sticking up. Make sure you use stainless steel staples. And this will take two to three hours, depending on if you have help. So I hope this video helps you. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, let other people know about it. If you have any comments to help others, please leave them below. I'm sure you have some tips and tricks that can make it even easier. I just went with what I knew from prior projects. So thanks for watching.